All right, we are here with Biz Excellence and hashtag Sarah Be the Coach. And today we want to talk to you a little bit about emotions in business and where they belong. <laughs> Not all over the place. Not all over the place. They need to be controlled. They should be controlled. And I actually recommend people to pull their emotions out of the business. Learn when to process like what's happening and what's being said. And then to respond to it versus to react to it. Does that make sense? That does make sense because yes. sometimes people get a little too excited. Yes, you can get too excited. And emotions can be either good or bad. Yes. So you can have really be really excited and then you make decisions and then later you're like, uh, I may have overshot myself. <laughs> that is true. And next and then thing you know. You can have emotions. And so one of the things that I wrote on one of my recent posts was you don't want to have regrets. So regrets don't belong here. So in order to not have regrets, you have to be able to control your emotions. Because if not, later on, you're going to be like, I wish I hadn't said that. I wish I hadn't done that. One of the most common ones that I find is um, in industries where we work with clients. And maybe a client did something that you absolutely hated. And then what do people do? They go to social media. Oh, I hate when clients do this. Don't be late. And what it actually does is it shows that you have not yet controlled that area of your business. <laughs> so it's, it's so really given the I wrong was, impersonation because i was derelict in letting you know the expectations mm -hmm. i was upset when you showed up late yeah i was upset when you showed up late so now i told all of my clients that somebody showed up late today and one it offends that person because i know who i was yes i yeah. know i they knew, knew that i was late. and it makes all of your other clients go well what do they do when i make a you know a mistake that wasn't intentional so it, it's now a reflection of your business, not that person, because guess what? Nobody on social media even knows who that was. They just know that's how you conduct business. They know that that's how you conduct business, and they know that you're emotional. And I used to um, joke with some of my employees a long time ago, and I would say, if you and I got into a fist fight, where would you hit me? In the face. In the face, okay. So if you and I got into a fist fight, but you saw that I had a wound in my hip, where would you hit me? What? On the hip. Exactly. So when you set up and you tell people what your weakness is, you actually attract that weakness. <laughs> and this is why I do both life and business coaching, because a lot of the things that I talk about in business, if you apply it to your personal life, it would save you a huge headache in your personal life, which therefore would allow you to run your business fine tuned. I know that's deep, but <laughs> that is deep. that's why we have you here. That's why. But it is absolutely the truth. And the other piece of that is, um, and I got a lot. I'm trying to get it all into a little bit of uh, 